Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through the air filter and air box setup on my Mitsubishi 3.8 liter Gero. We're going to start by looking at the box itself. So it's a box made out of aluminum. Uh, it contains a, a dry air filter inside made by AEM. It's the brute force edition, which is used specifically for off-road use. Um, it's an air filter that does not require oiling, so in essence it's dry, which is good for sand use. Before we proceed further, I'd like to please invite you to subscribe to the channel so you can get updates on our next videos. So let's take a look at the box itself now. I'm going to open the four screws so you can see what's inside the box and how it's actually set up. So once I remove the cover right now, you can see the actual air filter and then you can see the air scoop. It utilizes the stock air scoop from the front of the car and I've also created an extra scoop that takes in air from in between the lights and the radiator. So what it does is the, the setup of the box allows for maximum air to come through the grill to, and it takes it in between the lights and also it utilizes the stock scoop. So at least try to get as much air as possible into the air filter. And then at the same time, what I've created for it is I've created a custom bracket to hold the air filter. Um, it's got a long clamp to ensure the air filter actually never falls off as well. In addition, uh, on top of the air filter, I've got a wrap that is wrapped around the air filter for extra protection against sand and water. It just gives me a peace of mind to have it uh, on top of the air filter. It's also worth noting that when I put the car on the dyno to do further tests, the air wrap, air filter wrap was actually on and it made no difference on the results. If you wanted to set up your own box, uh, all the details and the part numbers are actually in the description below. And I've also uh, can hook you up with a ready-made custom box if you want one. All the details are in the description of the video. So let's go further and take a look at the design of the box. As I said earlier, the box is actually made out of aluminum and it's got uh, heat insulation proofing on it. It also utilizes the stock intake and it's got that extra scoop as you can see in the video. So it's quite simple to install. It goes right into where the uh, stock air box used to be. And this is uh, us speaking through the extra opening or the extra scoop that allows more air to come into the box. Initially, uh, I've had an open design where uh, the scoop the, or the extra scoop that I created was actually bringing sand into the box. So what I did was I actually put a very fine mesh on the front of it and then I installed the uh, scoop, the long scoop uh, on top of it. And what it did is actually prevented the sand from going into the box. So I get minimal amount of sand going in. So that way I utilized the stock intake and the vortex inside the stock intake which filters the sand out and with the extra scoop that I've created, I've got that extra mesh on top. And now we move over to see how the box deals with heat from the engine bay. So if you take a look at the air temperature outside, it's 38 degrees. This temperature was taken actually when the car was driving. And if you look at the OBD reading, it shows that the air going into the air intake itself and into the air box is uh, at 40 degrees so there's actually a two degrees celsius difference only between the outside air temperature and actually what's going into the the air box itself and we all know that the colder the air uh, the denser it is and the more air that we can squeeze inside the engine hence more power to ensure the box is insulated from heat uh, i've used very high quality insulation material across the box from inside and outside. The box itself is also made out of aluminum, which releases heat quite fast. The part numbers, the heat insulation, the description of all the parts used in this video, in case you want to replicate a DIY, are in the description below. At the same time, as I said earlier, if you wanted me to send you a custom box, again, details are below, I can get you one custom made with the air box and air filter and sent over uh, to your address. And now we move over to the dyno testing. So I've put my car on the dyno at several stages. Before I dynoed the car, I did install Unichip in the car, which is an additional ECU that sits on top of the car's ECU, and it helps control parameters such as 
uh, fuel and air ratios to help make the different engine modifications work better with the car. So this is the car on the dyno. In the beginning, when I put the car in the dyno, it used to turn around 190 working horsepower. Um, towards the end of the modification journey, in two phases, the car has been generating around 247.8 working horsepower. Now, if you want the full details on the modifications, do check out my other video. Do subscribe and check out. It's a full video on how I've performed the modifications on the car. However, in phase one, where I had installed spark plugs, high flow cap performance muffler headers, air filter box, that resulted in 30 horsepower on its own. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, and like the video, do share it, and leave your comments in the description below. And stay tuned for more videos to come around modifications on the Pajero.